All right, welcome back to the Miami Herald's high school football preseason tour here at the Miami Dolphins High School Football South Florida Media Day. We're joined by Matter Academy head coach Javier Valdez and Dwayne Pattyfoot, one of the top players on the team. Uh, I'll start with you, Dwayne. Talk about last season, what you guys picked up from last year. You had a good season, came a little bit short of the playoffs, but how motivated are you guys to take the next step? Um, definitely way more motivated to, to make a, a run this year. Uh, last year, I would say we got a little comfortable and, you know, sort of fell off towards the end of the season. This year, we're coming out way more pride in, in what we do and finishing and, and basically just always attack. Dwayne, tell us a little bit about your background, just the, your name itself. Like, what, um, you know, what, what ethnicity are you, background, that kind of thing? Well, the name Pattyfoot is actually Jamaican, but I'm um, actually... On my dad's side, I'm Jamaican Panamanian, and on my mom's side, I'm Irish Cuban. So it's a tremendous mix. It's huh? pretty big I mix. Told you yeah. Everything. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now, have you traveled a lot? Have you ever gone to any of those countries or your family's background and visit and see a little bit about your history, where you're from, all that? Not at all. I haven't oh, yeah. done much traveling, no. Okay. You plan to at some point? Yeah. Okay. Hopefully. How much do they tell you about it? Like, you know, just uh, the heritage you have? Um, it won't be them. Mostly it'll be like my cousins that will come over, my uncles, all of them. I'll just talk to them, you know, whatever I can understand from them. Right. Yeah. <laughs> now, how many languages do you speak? Uh, it's just three, I would say. Three? Yeah. Which ones? Uh, I would Obviously say English, what else? English, Spanish, and a little bit of uh, Patois. Oh, okay. Like, I can understand it a little bit. I can't speak it. You're just enough to communicate well yeah. with them. Oh, yeah. Okay, gotcha. Um, well, tell me a little bit, let, talking about football now, just um, you know, what you've been up to this summer to kind of improve, get better at, at your position, that kind of thing. Um, I've been on, uh, I've, I think we just got back from a trip not too long ago. Uh, we took a trip up to visit some colleges. Um, we've basically been in the weight room every day, outside, lifting, running, you know, trying to just get the potential out of everybody as much as possible, you know, bring it to each other every day. And um, I know more and more colleges have taken attention to you and, they, you know, have shown you, you know, giving you some offers. Like, tell us a little bit about where you stand right now. What's, what's it looking like for you with coming into the season? Um, <sighs> I would say I need a little, like, in terms of like committing somewhere, I would have to, you know, a little bit more time. It's, it's definitely exciting, you know, talking to these coaches. I've been in contact with a lot of coaches, you know, through Coach Perez, Coach Valdez, you know, they've done a great job with that. So. Tell, go, go over the team a little bit, um, you know, coming back this year, how many start, how many, uh, you know, guys are coming back that you think are going to be like impact players and why should Matter Academy fans be excited to see you guys again coming off the seven and three year? Should definitely be excited to come out and see this defense. <laughs> um, you know, we got we got our um, number nine coming back, Miguel Lo uh, Lewis. Miguel Lewis. Uh, we got Jay Ortiz, I believe, Jay Ortiz. Um, Jordan Turner, you know, safety. You know, we got, we got a bunch of good players coming back on the defense. Offensively, you know, same thing. Got TJ. Um, running backs are good. Receivers got Steven Rodriguez. You know, we bring it to each other every day, trying to just pull it out of each other. So, Coach, I'm going to ask you now. We were here last year talking about this team, but it was the first year. What was that first year like, you know, taking over a program and especially seeing that hard work pay off to the point where you did have a winning season? The funny part is uh, we had our team meeting uh, right before we started training camp, and I told them, you know, the first year is not over. You know, it's year two now. Right. And, uh, there's been a lot of changes going on, and, and as a head coach, like I feel like there hasn't been an off season because the on, the on switch has been on. Yeah. You know, there's been no time for resting. Uh, I mean, uh, Christmas like the season feels like yesterday. It feels like we we just we just started. You know, we were talking about it on the way down. I, I remember coming to last year's media day, and my polo didn't even have an emblem. I was just in a green polo standing here, like, hey, here we go. Right. And uh, you know, we were blessed enough. That we had a great year. We went seven and three. Um, we lose. We lose a lot offensively. You know, losing Jamal Ajima, the Joseph Barocas, mm -hmm. uh, Brian Guerra, our quarterback. Uh, there's a few key. A lot of linemen come back. We got Steven Rodriguez come back. We got a really young and talented group of backs. Then defensively, like he said, you know, uh, it's time for them to put their money where their mouth is. You know, and, and we got Dwayne who's doing a great job. Miguel Luis is our heart. And our, our soul, that guy give, gives everything he's got 
for this team. And then we're, very, we're blessed to have a very talented group of DBs and Jordan Turner and uh, the Brinney brothers, Don Brinney and, and uh, Labubi James, I mean, Latavius <laughs> Brinney. And, uh, and, you know, hopefully we, ha we, we, could, we can make some noise this year. I think it's, it's time to, to, to shut the door, yeah. you know. And we, we left a crack open and, and we didn't get the, the chance to experience the first time in school history's playoff run. But, you know, we're, we're seven months better now. Yeah. So it's our time. How do, you, how do you feel the team has matured to handle, let's say, those key district games that you're going to face, like, let's say, you know, the American game or the Springs game, the ones that you know are going to be the pivotal ones you need to win to get in the playoffs and possibly even win the district? Well, um, going into after the season, when I sat down with my coaches, we examined, and a big thing that we, we thought was, uh, you know, we needed to turn up the schedule. And... Uh, we did that. <laughs> I saw Northwestern's on there right off the bat. We're going uh, uh, South Ridge in the kickoff classic South. and uh, Northwestern. We're driving up to Venice to play a you know six A real top team every year in Venice High School. So those teams are are on the schedule to make sure that we're ready because you know our coaching our our district is really in flux in the sense of you know Coach Bell left the FAU so there's a new head coach at American. Coach Bethune comes back and myself and uh, the coach at Goldman, Coach Cribero. But other than that, there's a lot of new coaches. And uh, and I feel like we, you know, it's our time to, to, you know, Coach Allison at HML, you know, that's one of our early district games. I don't, I, they know that the district is where the money's at. And uh, we got to, we, we, we're paving the way till we get to that point. Um, overall, I guess, uh, if you talk about just, you know, the team itself and talk a little bit about like he was saying you know some of those guys oh, have you changed stylistically anything you said you lost a lot of key players on offense I mean is it kind of going with the same schemes more or less I mean without giving too much away no hey at the end of the day you got to stop it yeah. but uh you know I I've been the same coach I mean Andre we go back for a while and uh, a lot of the things that that have been doing at Archbishop Carroll and at Southridge and at Homestead are still in our system and we, we for the most part you know we you know we might be doing some different things, but not really. At the end of the day, it's our same offense. You know, maybe we do a formation here, they're different, but at the end of the day, we got some young talent that, you know, they just got to grow up and they got to grow up fast because in two weeks there's going to be some thunder because Southridge is real talented and Northwestern is always talented and, and you know, our district is talented and, and we just got to be ready for that, for that grind and that's what we do in the weight room. I want to ask both of you guys, not just taking it outside of football for a second, the baseball team wins a state title like pretty much it seems like a few weeks ago um you have the basketball team doing well is there something at the school now that kind of just goes from sport to sport that kind of like a carryover where like you guys are kind of like putting the matter academy name out there and is, is, is there anything to that like that inspires you guys maybe has motivated you even more coming into the season to kind of keep that trend going as, as well. definitely expectations are high i'm looking to hopefully get one of those too so well, um, Coach uh, Corey Stevens, last year when he was interviewed, said that we were a big reason why the the ball kept rolling, so to speak. Yeah. You know, and I, I was blessed enough to be in the uh, in the pep rally for the home for the state championship for the baseball team, and I sat in there and I sat with a few of the seniors, and and some of the seniors were in tears because yeah. they were like, "Man, this is great, but like it's our turn," yeah. and. Uh, and we have to put our money where our mouth is. We've been putting in the work, so I think it's time for us to step up and make some noise and make a run, you know, and see what happens. Gentlemen, thanks for joining us, and we wish you guys the best of luck this year. Hope to see Matter do well this year. Thank thanks. You,